The Catholic Church is quite often attacked and criticized as being too serious, too dull. And so I think we ought to ask ourselves every now and then, why is that? Why are Catholics so doggone serious all of the time? I'm Jake McCarthy, and this is Foundations of Faith. The Catholic Church is criticized as being serious because we use solemn tone chant, we have the liturgical seasons where we, we mourn again, we, we have the Good Friday and Holy Thursday, Mass and service, bringing you into the Passion. We have an emphasis on our death. We carry with us the weight of our sins knowingly. There, there, there's the reference to Catholic guilt. We take faith in a very serious, grave way that the Protestants and the, definitely the atheists don't do. Why is this? Well, the atheists, not necessarily hedonistic, but they lean more that way by nature because they engage in much more excess pleasure than they ought. So, the Christian says all things in moderation. The Christian says, yes, 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 you can drink here and there. Yes, you can, you know, have an extra helping of something here and there. Yeah, you can have some sweets here and there. But all things in moderation. Yeah, you, you can have the good food, but if you have too much good food too often, well, then you're being gluttonous. Well, yeah, you can have a drink here and there, but if you drink too much too often, well, then, then you're an alcoholic. You have to moderate it. You have to know, okay, we've been given these good things. How do I use them? It's like the man who has never seen or held a gun before will pick it up and sort of wave it around and not really know how to use it and probably shoot someone. The person who knows how to use a gun will pick it up with a grave understanding of what it is. He'll handle it properly. He'll use gun safety. He'll move it in a less quick sort of roundabout, loose way. And so if you just looked at the two men and knew nothing about them or what they're holding, you'd say, oh, well, one of them looks a lot more comfortable, looks a bit more fun. No, he's sort of like, you know, making some jokes and waving it around. The other one's a little too serious. Well, one of them knows what he has. One of them doesn't. So the gun owner who knows what he has is treating it with the solemnity, with the seriousness and with the grave attitude it should be treated with. We are not a religion of do whatever you want. We're a religion of truth. Sometimes truth isn't very fun. Sometimes doing the right thing is uncomfortable, but we have to do it. This is well illustrated in a quote by C.S. Lewis. I didn't go to religion to make me happy. I always knew a bottle of port would do that. If you want a religion to make you feel really comfortable, I certainly don't recommend Christianity. What he's saying here is comfort and mere happiness, they don't last. They're fleeting, they're of the world. You need to go further. You need to purify it into joy and security, true faithfulness. So you take happiness, which is fleeting, it comes from something external. You take it, you purify it into joy. It's now internalized. It now comes from within, from God the Father living within you, so that when you're on the fire being burned alive for your faith like St. Lawrence, you, like him, can say, turn me over, I'm done on this side. You take comfort which the world gives, which is from external things, like, oh, a, a nice cushy chair, maybe like a, a, a decent apartment. You take that, you purify it, and internalize it into security. I know who I am. I know who called me. I know to where I am called unto. I am a Christian. I am a follower of the crucified and risen Savior. I am secure. Whatever the world throws at me, I'm fine with. I know what's coming. I know who wins. I know what side I'm on. And so the world will offer you happiness and comfort. The Catholic Church won't. Protestants, with the exception of a few very traditional faithful sects, you can do whatever you want. 
You go to the Protestant church and there's homosexual marriage and transgenderism and, and, and contraception, all of it. Because they just sort of let you do whatever you want at this point because they don't really do anything anymore. They've let go of the actual tenets of the faith and of the scripture because they let go of the scripture and of the true church. And so, they're like, oh, no, 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 see, Christianity can be really fun and exciting, and you really don't have to change at all if you're Christian, which is the exact opposite of what Christ says. No, it's not going to be fun to be Christian all the time. No, you're not going to be the most popular person in the world if you're Christian. No, you can't do whatever you want if you're Christian, but you can do whatever you ought. And you can still enjoy life. If you look at the person who engages in everything in excess, you don't look at them and say they have a fulfilling, brilliant life. You say that's so sad. Look how lonely they are. Look how in pain they are. They drink too much. They, a lot of them do drugs. You're cohabitating. You, 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 you engage in no-fault divorce all the time. There's nothing lasting. There's nothing permanent. There's, there's nothing meaningful there. If you look at the Christian, well, in general, especially in recent days, we've seen a resurgence of this amongst my generation, you're getting married young. You're engaging in very solemn forms of the Mass. You dress nicely, put on a decent shirt. You speak properly. We're a solemn people under a brilliant king we ought to act like that he gives us freedom so no if you want a comfortable life you should not be christian if you want a fulfilling life full of freedom truth and ethereal numinous beauty then welcome home to the catholic church christianity as it is by God's own mouth. Cheers. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, videos you would like to see, anything you wonder about the faith you'd like me to talk about, please send me an email. I'll see what I can do. It's jmccarthy at knoxcatholic.org.